Oh, hey! <laughs> I did not see you there once again, but this was quite an intimate moment. I was wearing my magical Crypto Friends t-shirt, playing their theme song and reminiscing of the good old days when I used to attend the conferences and I was not in a full lockdown. But anyway, let me tell you something interesting now that you're here and let me put this guitar aside. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is very cool because in the last three episodes I've showed you the Raspberry Pi 400 which is the $70 way of running a full Bitcoin node. If you use the SD card like I do, it's going to take you about two weeks to sync the full Bitcoin blockchain and run a full node. But if you use an external SSD with the USB free ports, it's gonna be like six days or something. So it's really not bad and for $70, you can't go wrong with this. But if you wanna take your node on the go, then you should get the HTC Exodus 1S, which runs a full Bitcoin node and has lots of other features. Plus, it's a smartphone, so you can run lots of apps, you can install wallets. It's very nice, it's lightweight, it looks like an iPhone, and it's like $260. But what if you don't want the blockchain sync, the IBD, the initial block download, to take two weeks or five days, and you need it a lot faster? Then I got the perfect solution for you and according to Bitcoin Core developer and maintainer Jonas Schnelli, this is going to take only 6 hours. Just think about it, 12 years of Bitcoin transactions getting synchronized and verified and downloaded in 6 hours. That's insane. <laughs> Just think about it, less than one day and you have the whole history of Bitcoin transactions. And this can be the future of scalability. This can actually help us onboard lots of other people. And the machine that I'm going to show you is actually not even optimized to run Bitcoin Core. It does it on emulation mode. The name of the computer is the Mac Mini M1. So this little fellow, which is still in the box, and I'm going to unbox it for you, is capable of syncing 12 years of Bitcoin transactions in 6 hours. And the secret of this is very fast storage, very fast memory, very fast processing, and Apple has really exceeded all expectations with the M1 chip. And this only costs about $700 in the basic version, but I got the one which has extra storage, so 512 gigabytes. And this costs about $800. I paid more just because I'm in Romania and we have other taxes. But you can get this one for under $900. You get a monitor, you get keyboard and a mouse, and you're going to have the ultimate full node experience. Obviously, there are drawbacks to this one, but it's not any different to running it on any Intel or AMD processor because the Mac chips are backdoored by the NSA and so are Intel, so are AMD, so are Raspberry Pis, so are Broad, what's this called? The chip from Broadcom or something, from mobile phones. So these are also backdoored. And if you're interested in purchasing a computer that is not backdoored by the NSA, then you should get in contact with Luke Dasher, the Bitcoin Core developer, because he knows a couple of stores which sell you very expensive hardware, so it's gonna cost you about $7,000 or something for a computer, but the chips, the processors are not backdoored. But for users who don't run away from the NSA and have nothing to hide in theory, or I don't know how you should call it, if you don't really care as much about privacy and don't care if the NSA can look into your computer and possibly have very few transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain, then this is ideal. Let, let's just consider this for a moment. So you pay about $700, maybe $850 if you get the 512 gigabytes version. And what you get in exchange? A very fast onboarding experience. And maybe in a few years, this is going to get very cheap. And I don't think that the Bitcoin blockchain with one megabyte blocks that sometimes size up all the way to two megabytes or something with SegWit, will get too large in the near future. 
but we're going to be able to purchase these machines maybe in five years for a couple hundred of bucks and it's going to beat the hell out of any Raspberry Pi and any other kind of machine. This is like a processing race that has started with Apple and they have taken it to the next level. And keep in mind that the six hours for the initial synchronizing for the Bitcoin blockchain is made on emulation. It's Rosetta 2, their system which emulates x86 applications for their M1 chip. As soon as we have proper optimization, it's gonna take a lot less. So think about it. This is revolutionary. This is great for Bitcoin. So in the future, I can imagine how one of these chips can actually power mining rigs for Bitcoin. And that's insane because you're going to be able to run from home with a processor that doesn't take too much energy and has proper optimization for applications. And oh man, the future is so bright for chips. I'm so happy for ARM. And let's take this out of the box because it's still sealed. And I'm going to have to cut these parts, I guess. And after that, we take it out and see what it looks like. Because obviously the box is a lot larger than the machine. And let's compare sizes, okay? This is the HTC Exodus 1S. This is the Mac Mini. You can fit like three of these and you get your computer. And in terms of height, look at this. It's about the same size. Let me take it out so we can do a proper comparison. As compared to the Raspberry Pi 400, this is wider. So it's not a big machine. It doesn't take a lot of space, but it's very efficient in terms of energy. Okay, the plastic wrapping is off. Let's see what's inside. It's actually the first time when I do this and it opens just like every other iPhone, I guess. With this top, which is not fast to take out or take off. And it's off, baby. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> okay, so the computer is about the size of the box, except that it has these rounded corners. You push, you pull. I'm pushing right now, but you pull towards you if you want to not break it, but I'm being very cautious. You pull it towards you. This is it. It's a lot thinner than I expected. It's not even big. And what else is inside? So this is the machine. This is the computer that helps you sync the full Bitcoin blockchain in six hours. This is insane. And it costs like $800. It's crazy. I, I just can't wait to try it. And also what you get in the box is a manual i guess so it looks like a cd envelope but you get some sort of documentation which explains to you what you should be doing i suppose you also have the mac stickers which are pretty common in these mac machines yeah so compliance documents blah 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 stuff i will never actually read and obviously you get the stickers. There's only one. But I don't mind it. I don't care. Like, it's a nice sticker. I will probably never use it, but whatever. I have a sticker. You get the power cord, which is adapted for the Central and Eastern European plugs. So this is gonna work in my socket with no problem. And it looks pretty standard. It doesn't look like it drains a lot of energy. It's no brick. I was thinking of something heavier and bigger to power up this machine, but look at this. It's just a basic cable. And what else is inside the box? I, I think this is it. It's insane, but this is it. This has been it. Just a cord, a manual, a sticker, and a computer. That's the whole unboxing experience. So getting back to this, which is the main event of this video, the superstar of Bitcoin nodes. 
Ta da! It's made of the same aluminium casing that you find in every other Mac Mini. Unfortunately, it's not upgradable, so you cannot add more RAM to it. But think about it. You can buy, I think, a Raspberry Pi, which is pre-installed with lots of applications for like $500 or something. I think the one with the Dojo by Samurai is a lot more expensive. So this is $800 and it's a lot more powerful than any Raspberry Pi. Oh, I almost dropped it. Any Raspberry Pi on the market. So this is $70, this is $850. Is this like 12 times faster? Yes, it is. This is $260, this is $850. Is this like four times faster? Yes, it is. So if you wanna sync the note very fast and you wanna get a fast machine and you wanna replace your clunky and noisy desktop, you, you should consider this Mac Mini because it's a beast. It has a fast chip. It's insane. I'm very excited for our times. And I can't wait to run this and sync a full node in six hours. That's, that's a dream that comes true today. So thank you for watching and I'll keep you updated with how this is going.